Hello, this is Kevin Jones. I'm the Executive Director of SACIA. Next week, we're going to be electing a new SACIA board, a, a group of industry leaders who will lead our association for the next two years. We have nine great candidates that have thrown their hat into the ring. One of them is Vainant Langenhoven. Vainant is a current member of the SACIA board. He was a founding member of the SACIA board uh, and, uh, and has been one of the constants in the organization since we were established. So Vainant, welcome. Uh, perhaps you could uh, kick off just by introducing yourself and talking a little bit about your involvement, not so much in SACIA as a start, but in the broad communications and AV industry. Yeah, so within the communications industry, we're in the pro AV space um, and we're a distributor. As a company, we're a distributor and importer of the technologies with a very broad, um, I guess, involvement in technologies and market segments. Um, yeah, and so that, that's our involvement. And that's my, my involvement in, in the communications industry. So, so just give us a bit more of a background in terms of your history. I, I remember a couple of years ago, we had a conversation and I know you, you, you started your career in the comms sector working at whatever telecom was called 300 years ago. Yeah, uh, telecom, post and telecommunications uh, was those days, uh, many years ago in 1982, I think it started, uh, 1978 actually. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, I guess, uh, a training platform that was probably one of the best I could have ever hoped for just because it was it was interspersed with work and training periods over a period of six years and I think that set a platform for uh, a technology insight which allowed me to adapt into any technology space um, and then after a while I joined the pro AV industry with a company called Future Media in, in Natal yes um, quite a few years there and then yeah that company was bought and then I eventually uh, ended up uh, with Peripheral Vision uh, and owning the company. Very nice. And, that, and now talk about your past involvement with Satya because you've served on the board longer than, than anybody else that currently serves on the board. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been, you and I started together, Kevin. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think all the people that are uh, that were with us in the beginning, there, I think all of them are still members. Um, so. Their support is really well valued. Um, but my involvement uh, with SACIA has, has been on the board and then also in the Pro AV Council over the last two year term. Um, and I think, I guess, one of the things that was a focus area for me, um, uh, sorry, I was chair for, for a two year period as well within the, the council, um, within the, the board. And the focus area for me at that time, I think you'll recall, was just the sustainability of, of the organization and of the association, making sure that there is a sufficient revenue stream for us to be able to continue and provide the, the um, a value to the market. You know, we need to pay the bills before we can provide the market. And the two are very intimately involved with each other. Uh, the one feeds the other. And it's really an, an issue of us creating value within the association. Um, and that value then interpreting into more membership and more activities and training and value that we can provide to to the to the market and to our industry. And so, having been involved for a long time, what is it that you're looking to contribute to uh, to the board and and I suppose also to the Pro AV Council over the next two years? Well, you know the um, the original area of focus of SACIA was actually the Pro-AV Council. That's where it all came from. And it was it was only the Pro-AV Council in the beginning. And then we started forming uh, these special interest groups, which incorporated the other associated industries um, next to pro, uh, the Pro-AV market, which is broadcast and uh, the live events industry and other segments as well. And that that was good for, for SACIA, but ne not necessarily very good for, for, for the Pro-AV Council, because I think we may have uh, lost a little bit of energy in the Pro-AV Council and all the energy and activities are happening in the other special interest groups. So if I was going to put my finger on anything, I, I would I would think I would, it would be just to revive the Pro-AV Council and to get it started again and get it going and um, bring value to the members of that uh, special interest group and then also to um, get 
the Pro AV Council to uh, link up and create synergies between that special interest group and the other special interest groups within SACA, and perhaps even associate uh, um, you know the association that are around us that we are affiliated with. Yep. Yes. I, I know recently we've had a number of conversations with other professional bodies in the market, so uh, the Marketing Association and the Institute of Directors and other such uh, about uh, about engaging in joint projects with them, creating opportunities for the pro AV community uh, to to market themselves more effectively, and essentially reaching out um, so that we embrace more end users within the association as well. Uh, maybe you can just expand on that. Yeah, exactly. So the value of the Pro AV Council, I think, has a little, been a little bit lacking. Um, and we need to focus on that. And we need to make sure that there is a value proposition for being a member. Um, and that the, the members have interest in in, um, in being associated with our with SACIA. Um, and that involves uh, not only channel, but also end users. Um, and I think that the communications with end users is probably going to um, increase with with the uh, webinars that we've planned and we've had one of. Um, I think the COVID-19 situation has maybe stumbled uh, the, the second webinar. Yep. Maybe it was actually a good time to have a second one, but I honestly feel that the connection and communication with the end users uh, by way of the webinar is going to be a great platform for a value proposition for SACIA to, to those end users and actually maybe uh, in, you know get them more involved and bring them in as members uh, on a more regular basis because the webinars are very much going to be focused on industry trends um, and how uh, the business problems that those end users are experiencing on a day-to-day basis are uh, can be resolved with these trends that we're talking about right now right so actually we're going to be hosting a webinar on uh, monday morning before we open the uh, the the ballot for uh, for members to vote uh we've asked all of the board nominees to participate so if you have any questions that you want to ask vainant uh, about his vision for the future development of sakia please send them through to me questions at sakia.org.za and of course also please register to attend the webinar on monday morning there's a link in the um in the video description below uh, so vainant thank you very much i look forward to speaking to you on monday morning great i look forward to it thanks kevin thanks for your time as well good day. thanks Bye. for the involvement that's great Bye -bye.